Okay, guys, welcome back and girls. It'd be interesting to know. I've had a few emails over the years from the ladies, but you know, the ratio was like you know, one percent compared to the guys. But it'd be interesting to know how many girls watch. I've had, I think, an email I had today was from was from a um, a lady, might have been. Because the, and I hope you don't mind me mentioning this, but it was uh, the name was Sky, and I think that's yeah, that that's a that's a girl's name. So at least <laughs> at least there's one watching. Uh, okay, now the discus pivot. The discus pivot is what I call the spiral down and the spiral up. And basically, pressure down, pressure down, and then pressure up, or drive up. And how do we drive up? Guys, this is our igniter. We've gone down, we've stored all that energy in the, in the backswing, we've coiled, we've uh, we spiraled into the ground in the backswing. Now we've got to release that energy, and how do we do that? And we've got to get the body from there back over here. So what we, to release that energy, as the as the discus thrower, the discus thrower is here, and then he goes. Wow! If you slow that down, you'll see this coming up is what ignites the arms and and and, and the rest of the body. Now I haven't done any of this. <laughs> I was just watching a discus guy a couple of days ago and I thought you could incorporate that in the golf swing. And guys, a lot of the stuff you see is just you're seeing it first hand. And then come out and hit it and then try it. This is first hand. This is the JH practice team. That's what it is. I come out here and I practice these things and see if I can I can do them. But in my mind, I know this this action could be really beneficial. A for a timing mechanism for the downswing because we'd be centering here and having our, our, our physical concentration here and I just think it'll be a power builder because that that gets so much drag into the lead side now I haven't done it guys so I might I might hit the biggest flub of all time and I won't be able to do it first time because I haven't done it before and that's what I say to people. You will never do anything you haven't done before. You just won't be able to do that. Why? Because you don't have a program for it. It'd be like me going out and trying to run 110 metre hurdles. I couldn't do it because I have the brain hasn't got the program to position my legs um, in the timing sequence to do that. But if I practiced for a week, I could run those hurdles. Probably not, not at my age these days, but, but I could have. It's like anything, guys. You learn through repetitions when you're talking about physical activity. All right, now we're going to spiral down and have a practice swing, Jase. Spiral down, spiral down, spiral up. <laughs> guys, I felt like I was going to and just spiral up into the into the sky. There was a lot of speed on that. Now that's the first time I've tried it. And the reason I like to do this, this is what I call <laughs> live television. Not television, but it, but it's live. And, and all the stuff I do, guys, they're not scripted. I just come out and I just turn my brain on. I never think about exactly what I'm going to do. I have a basic theme, so yeah, I'll talk about that. But I don't know what the content of that talk's going to be. And I've always just been like that. I've always been, I've been some, I've done a lot of, you know, verbal presentations over the years, so I'm sort of geared to be spontaneous. But that was, that was actually pretty good. But I didn't hit a golf ball. So let's see if we can, we can do it. So what, what do you think about, Jase? You want to spiral down, pressure down, and then you want to, so where's the main emphasis? It's here. I want to pull that up. So, whoa, up there. So that's high lead shoulder, Snap left hip. 
this will be good. This is how, on live television, how you can be made to look like a complete dunce. Spiral down. Spiral up. What was interesting there, so I felt like I was here, and the club come, so what I've got to do, and the club wasn't at the ball. And the shot went dead straight, but it, was, it just didn't have a lot of zip on it. It was, again, a fourth groover. So as I come up, or as, I, as I start the downswing, I've got to get more throw. Pressure down, but throw. I'm pressuring, but I've still got to throw that, throw that head into the ball. If, if you just spiral up and you don't throw the head, it just, you can't get it to the ball to release it. That was released, but it wasn't released, you know, with the, the amount of efficiency that I wanted. But that was the first hit. Spiral down. Spiral up. Might hit a few shots down range, guys. There's no clouds today. Sun's still high, but um, it's about one o'clock Sunday. I've come down today, guys, because I th thought we, if we get locked down, we won't be able to go anywhere. You'll only be able to go to the supermarkets for food. Everything else can forget it. Never thought I'd see it happen in Australia. And the, and the epidemic, the, the coronavirus here is... We've had two people die this entire year in the country. And it's... Um, and they were old people, 80 and 90, and that had pre-existing conditions. So, stay out of the politics, Judge. Okay, push it down, spiral down, spiral up. Look at this guy, look where I am. I'm trying to, in my mind, in my brain, I'm trying to get my brain to think that I'm throwing a discus. What would I do with my body to throw a discus? Because I know my hands will follow my body. I don't have to worry about my hands. If I could just get my lead hip going, I know that my hands will follow that. Spiral down. Spiral up. Just got to get more throw. It's dead straight. Just got to get more throw in the downswing because I'm, I'm, I'm turning very quickly, and I'm just not getting the club to the ball in the impact line that I need it to be because I'm just out of the way, and the club's a bit late. It's still playable, that's right. And let's see if we can do it. Come on. That's the one. Look here guys, look. Start with a high right shoulder and then finish with a high trail shoulder after we've hit the ball. We don't want to finish high right shoulder around here and the trail shoulder down here because that, that'll kill the rotation and that'll tend to leave the club face open. So you go from high lead shoulder to high trail shoulder. I mean that, that was about 90% hit. What's that, the fourth, fifth shot? Come on, Jay. Pressure down. Spiral down. If you can hear that impact, that's as good a five iron as I've ever hit. That is as good a flight as I've ever hit. It felt very strong. Uh, so I would say the benefit is that it will give you more power. 
And because you're thinking about this, it takes all the emphasis away from that. Okay, you want to get that going in the downswing so it can get to the ball at the right time with the clearance of the lead side. But that's that felt like a half a club longer than I uh, than I would normally hit, and it's ballistically straight. Got push down, guys. Push the spiral down. dead straight. Now, it's so different for me because I've never been that active with my lead side and I've never been a jumper. And as you can see, I'm not spiralling down anywhere like the, the discus player will spiral way down, get into his legs and then he'll jump out of his legs. I'll try and get into my legs on the backswing and then jump out of them. Because it's just stuff to try. It won't work for everybody but you never know, you may get a variation or your own personal um, vari variance that works for you. You may not have as much spiral into the legs on the downswing, but you might have more than you normally have in the, in the downswing and, and forward swing. Let's try and coil down into my legs. I might hit this fat if I can't get out of the why? Because I'm, I'm lowering my height. That was a very definite feel of jumping up through the ball. Can't go over here. The ball, the head is crosswind. The ball wants to go there, but it doesn't. It should go there with the conditions. It just doesn't. Okay, try and get into your legs on the downswing. When I say get into my legs, that's getting into my legs. Not doing that, but I'll try one. Try one. You try it. I felt like a spring. I felt like someone was winding the spring down and the spring just explodes. That was a great shot. That was a great shot. So guys, they talk about, you know, you need, what did some guy say? You needed a minimum of 1500 reps to ingrain 60% of what you're trying to do. Well, I know what I'm trying to do and I've done what? Eight reps and I know that if I did 40 or 50 reps I'd have it pretty good. So, okay, Josh, go down, Josh. Look at this, guys. Look, look, look. I'm up out of the ground. I'm going here. I'm not going there. I'm going here. I'm spiralling up. That's a great shot. Um, hate walking off camera. But God, let's see what that looks like with the driver. An old Henrik Stenson driver. 7.8 degrees. This will be interesting. This will be very interesting. Because the spiral up should get the golf club doing that. Guys, I don't know what's happening with my videos, but something's gone haywire with my camera. And it's only recording in lots of 12 minutes, 35 seconds. Don't know why. So you get a lot of videos that'll just cut off, and then there'll be, you know, uh, part two of that video. It's annoying because I've got to put but it may not today, I've adjusted the camera but if that happens, that's why you'll see a lot of videos like part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, it's only because it's just going on to another video ok, so here we go pressure down get into the leg stage look at this guys, look, look, look now that was right in the middle of the golf club and because it was the first time just a little bit late with the club head really solid shot just about a three or four meter push because the club face just slightly slightly open when I hit it it just didn't have time to close up because I'm not aggressive enough with the club head 
in conjunction with the spiral up. But boy, that was really solid. And it felt scary because I thought I was just going to completely miss the golf ball. But it was right in the middle. I wish I had some impact tape. I show you. Get into your legs, Jade. Guys, you've got to do this. You've got to try this. That's putting straight. With these fluffy mics, you never get the impact sound, but that was really... That was crisp. And that was like... That was like dead straight, guys. No exaggeration. I was a Boy Scout. I don't tell porky pies. I'm not like the fishermen. Went fishing today, I caught a fish that was that long. Was that long? And by the time they tell the story, it ends up being that long. And they've eaten the fish, so you can't even see it. Alright, let's spiral down a lot and spiral up a lot. Guys, you've got to try this. So, so what are we basically doing? We're sort of sitting down on the backswing and we're standing up in a forward swing. Spiral down, spiral up. With pressure down. And no wrist cock. What I feel is no wrist cock. Now guys, I want to tell you something. That's different ball flight to what I've ever had with a driver. Different. It's a shot that gets up. Like my, my drives normally go up like that and then come down, they're sort of parabolic. This isn't, it gets up and it goes, it gets up here, the ball comes here, and then it goes, it's almost like it goes along a tabletop at the top of the, uh, the uh,